Oh, uh, what up, E? Math Plays here, bringing you an update to the Clan Dojo on Warframe. So let's go, shall we? So I wanted to do an update to let you guys know exactly what I did to the clan dojo because I've done I've done some stuff. Your crime and has this, this, not been forgotten, adversary. Stop cutting me off, Your woman. Crime of existence. Jeez. Anyway, uh I just wanted to show you what I did to the clan dojo because now the all new updates just came out and I've been trying to get a lot of them but un I have been unsuccessful because you know I'm like trying to farm all the freaking things but they want a lot of shit they want a lot of resources dude I'm not gonna lie to you I'll do another episode of uh, the railjack, because that's what I'm trying to farm for. That's why I have hydroid. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Anyway, we're gonna get to the clan dojo right now, and I want to show you all the updates, and I'll also possibly see if you guys would like to join. Just let me know. My name in here is Mav zero four two nine. Otherwise known as math plays. So I'm gonna show you with the clan dojo and what like additions I made to it, and then we'll go through stuff you know that newer beginner players could possibly want or you know need or whatever the case may be, because it's not really. Um, it's not really, uh, you know, it's not really easy for newer beginner players to, you know, run the map because you have to open up different missions and it's kind of hard. So if you need some leadership, our clan is known as the World Hunters. Here it is right here. Obviously, you saw my my how to join a warframe clan if you didn't check that out and um that'll give you some good tips on how to do stuff in here and what we offer but basically this is just an updated version of that because they added some new dlc kind of things to this video game so i wanted to make sure that i covered that but i'm going to cover more in depth of the railjack that i added onto this dojo I still haven't um, got the dry dock. See this dry dock right here? So, if any of you join from this video, I would highly appreciate any kind of help that you can get. You know, at, it's kind of hard to get a, a higher level, but if you see me on or you see outlaw the one-handed gamer which also he has a youtube video he has a youtube channel as well so i want to give a shout out to him and i also want to give a shout out to death gun gaming which is the leader of this clan um i want to give a shout out to him so go check their their uh youtube channels because they're both awesome creators and they need you know they they would help you out if you need it so if you need some help they'll uh help you out and also they're just really trying to you know move up on youtube just like everybody else just like me um all three of us are trying really hard to bring out good content for everybody so go check out those two youtube channels death gun gaming and one-handed gamer and i'll try to leave a link in this video at the end to uh both of their channels and just go sub i'd highly appreciate it 
if you can go sub to them they're really awesome and they're really helpful with that being said let's uh get into it so i put um there was an update that came out and let me see right here let me see um where was this uh i had put this ascension room in the room was already established but um I had put the ascension in there so this is one room that I added this room was already here like I said but I added this piece here so we can ascend our clan so when you come in here um, anytime that the clan levels up or whatever the case is we can ascend using this so that's one addition to the clan dojo that I did so I added this. This room was already here. It's lovely. I thought that was a perfect place for an ascension. So yeah, that's that. And then I added, let's go here. I can go straight there, but I'm not gonna go. I added color to the barracks over here. I just wanna show you this. I added some color to the barracks. Looks pretty dope. I like it. And then, I'm not done yet with this, but I added an inspirational hall, which is right through this door. So, I'm not done with it, obviously. I still gotta add some more stuff. You know, I gotta finish these up here, that up there, that up there, you know. Nice little pond here. I still got some more stuff I want to add to this room. But, um, you know, anybody that's a clan member, um, they can add stuff to this room, decorations or whatever the case is. But, um, I'm gonna let, like, Death Gun and Outlaw, One-Handed Gamer do some other stuff here decorations you know so any kind of decorations that goes into this room by us three um i would appreciate it if you can help us uh finish those as well all you have to do is just edit the decoration and then just contribute to it like this like i'll show you right now so you go into um where is it decorations and just say decorate now when you decorate you're gonna be out of your body see here it says L3 to contribute to decoration so you hit L3 and then all you need is cryotic for these so just add whatever you can add to these and I would appreciate it so if you can add cryotic which is you can get that very easily on a defense mission I believe it is on Pluto or one of those. Um, just have to look for the resources where you can get them from. But you can get them on there and I appreciate the help. And then here is where the dry dock that I added to is going to go. The problem is with this is you need 250 salvage. And 150 Tellarium. I've already put everything else in there. I've already put a bunch of salvage in there. And I put all 26 Tellarium in there. The problem I'm having is that Outlaw, you know, the one-handed gamer, he also added to this, you know, what he could. But he's starting off in this game as well. So I'm trying to help him, you know, trying to help him get higher level but um we can do a defense mission and just contribute so whatever it's salvage you can contribute i'm not saying to do it all because you're going to need it for weapons and all this other stuff that you're going to need to create stuff and like you know different warframes or whatever gear that you have you're going to have you're going to need salvage to do some of those things i'm not saying to do it all but whatever you can do 
I would really appreciate it because 250 is a lot for somebody just doing it by themselves. I'm trying to do it as fast as I can so I can get this dry dock up and running for the railjack. But this is it's a lot of materials for one person to farm. And um, like I said, they out, the one-handed gamer has been helping me out a lot, so I really appreciate it. So anybody that um, can help that joins the clan or that's in the clan right now and they're watching this video, please help a brother out. Donate some of these things if you have them. If you don't know how to donate, um, you could just hit R1 and uh, you could just put as many as you want in there. Um, and then you just hit the square contribute. Um, I've just been doing contribute all because, you know, I, oh, that's all I'm concentrating on is just doing the salvage and the tellarium. But, you know, I don't really need them for the weapons or anything like that. But if you're brand new and you're starting off, you're going to need some of the salvage. So I would just highly recommend whatever you can afford to give to this clan dojo. To this dry dock I would really appreciate it with that being said I'm gonna do a whole nother video on this so with that being said those are some of the additions to the to the clan dojo it's dope anyway let me get over here I want to show you some of the newer players because um, I already did this one in my last in my last um, how to join a warframe clan if you didn't once again didn't watch that video go on my channel go back watch the video and I would appreciate a like and comment down below let me know how you feel about that video and also um, think about subbing because I, I could really use the help I'm trying to get this uh, ball rolling on YouTube as well so if you uh, can drop a like and, and a sub I would really appreciate it so here you have all the Tenno labs um, like for example this is a Tenno lab right here and for newer players um, we've already pretty much done all the research there's some that still need to do some research you know this type of things and you know this like weapon here but you can get weapons and warframes in here as well. You can get Nessa in here. You can get um, Banshee. Uh, I believe there's Wukon in here too. Uh, Zephyr. You can get Volt. Um, you can get Wukon. And then you have your... Um, you have your... Once you get this mission and you do this mission for... Uh, oh my god, why well can't... Arc, Arcwing, if you get the Arcwing mission and you complete it, you can come in here and you can get different Arcwings as well. Um, we still need to... God, I forgot. Crafting requirements. Let me see. Yeah, see? Some of these things are not done yet because we need to do some of these things. But... Like I said, you can get a bunch of Warframes, Arc Wings, um, modules for your ship. Like, for example, the launcher, Arc Wing launcher segment, which I, uh, you can use for, like, the planes of, the planes of Adalon. Um, so I researched it and did it. And then all you need to do is just get the, let me see here. Oh, highlight it. Highlight it. Highlight it. Grok, Drool, I hope I'm saying that right, and Erudite. And you get 50 of those, 50 each of those. And um, you can make the Arcwing launcher segment for your ship. And then you're going to need another 50 or 60 for the actual Arcwing itself. So you're going to need a lot of these put it that way so what you do is you go farming um, you go farming for 
You go farming for, um... You go farming in the plains of Adelon. Basically, what I do is I do, like, a, a, a mission for... What's his name? Kenz, Kenzu or... I think Tazu or something like that. You go to the main guy that, you know, you get your bounties from. And then, once you get your bounties... Um, you'll be able to... You'll be able to go... I do like the Grenier because that they have a lot of the Grok Drool or whatever the, the, the name is called. They have a lot of that. So you can get like two or three each time you do a, you know, a spot where they're at. So I, that's, that's all I do. I just go there and I, and I farm for, you know, I get my, um, basically I get uh, a bunch of, you know, uh, you know, um, resources but i also get a bunch of um what do they call that um experience through you know so that way i can buy different things from different vendors so you you got a standing sorry i couldn't even think of the name i had a brain fart right there but you get a lot of standing so you're doing those missions you get a lot of standing and you can also farm materials as well so that's what i was trying to say brain fart it's over and that's that. So here's, um, here's, you know, just, you know, corridors or whatever. But, um, we have a lot of labs in here that you can get different kind of weapons. Uh, for example, we have the Tenno lab that we just came from. We have the energy lab here, which, uh, sells, like, um, gives you, like, energy weapons. We have the, um, what is it? We got a trade hall, a fight room, um, where's the other ones? Where's the other labs? Where, uh, Orkin lab. Okay, which is just, you know, you pray to the gods pretty much and it's like the navigation's over here I believe I think somewhere around here dojo tactician lab you can construct a, a solar rail in this room here you can get it I'll get in more detail with that what that is um so let me see not this one not this one chem chem lab chem lab and bio lab so like this, these you can make like bio weapons in here, you know, all different kinds of bio weapon, weapons uh, to face like um, the, um, the, here you can do like the chem lab. You have like all these different kinds of labs that you can do that you can get, um, you know, different kind of weapons to face different factions. Like this one's for the Grenier, the last one was for the Infested different stuff like the you know but in this room here in this room here there's access to all the labs pretty much so like here's a different lab see this is the energy lab so this hallway i believe i believe this hallway is let me see where the teleporter is right here this hallway if you're gonna come here, it's the clan, uh, the clan grand hall. So you come in this grand hall, and you'll be able to go into the different kinds of labs. So that was the energy lab. Here's the orkin lab. Across from it, it is the chem lab. See, you can see all like the what weapons go with what you know, because they have them here. Like these are for the infested, you know, and then. You get the um, chem, you know, the chem lab, which is for like the veneer stuff like that. So different weapons affect different factions differently. So you see what you like and you don't, you know. You re you come in here, you you research it. Like we already researched this, you replicate it for whatever um, replicate required. You can do this, you know. Um, I've already replicated this, but 
you you it like you can replic oh there it is replication cost is fifteen thousand so you just replicate it with the credits that you get and then you just add the resources that they need for it and then once you do that then you have another weapon you know you can try it out so I highly recommend that you um I highly recommend that you if you're new and you want to message me and then just you know let me know and then I'll uh, be glad to try to help you out you know try to grow this uh, this clan even more and try to get some more resources so we can get the railjack and have some fun man. so that's gonna do it for this episode but if you enjoyed it and you enjoy what I'm doing here and you want to be um, a member of the world hunters just let me know and uh, we'll try to help you and support you as much as we can to grow this clan because I really want to get the rail jack and I really want to get the things going here for this clan and I just want to have some fun man like so if you're willing to contribute and you're a cool person and you want to join a cool clan and a cool community then let me know and also let me know what you guys want to see for the next video I'm gonna do a rail jack video because I want I want to get that really bad so I'm gonna do a video on that but I want to know what you guys want to see if you guys want it if you guys are interested in needing some help with Warframe let me know and also if you could drop a like on this video and and you know think about subbing to my channel it'll really help me out I'm trying to grow my community on YouTube and um, I'm trying to my hardest to put out some good content for you guys so if you guys are enjoying it honestly share the video with your friends try to grow my community because I'm having a ball doing these things you know and trying to help my other friends out as well also, I want to give another shout out to Death Gun Gaming and One Handed Gamer because they're also awesome content creators. So go check them out. Give them a sub. Give them a like. And um, with that being said, I'll catch all you awesome homies on the next one.